transcending uh, uh, cumulative uh, probability functions and, and many others. Um, you can define uh, distributions. There are more than 90 distributions you can choose from. 90 distributions, so we can define there and then you can choose um, from any, if you click on the old tab, you can see all these 90 different functions that you can choose from. And, and also you can define your own distribution functions. You can um, fit distributions to data. Um, so if you have a data set, uh, it's, just, it's a feature that is very valuable and um, some address users don't know about it, but if you have a data set, you can fit a distribution to a data set. Um, and it's very easy to do. You just uh, select the data points and then click on fit and choose the fitting criteria. And then the algorithm will work out what's the distribution that best fits data. And um, then you can decide whether that distribution is the distribution that you want to use or, or choose another one uh, based on perhaps another fitting criteria. You can see the goodness of fit of the uh, distribution and so on. Um, obviously, the, and this is also an important point to uh, present or discuss, every model has to have um, at least one input distribution. Every, every Monte Carlo simulation model, at least one input distribution and at least one output. Um, at risk allows you to color your inputs and your outputs. I mean, I like to color my inputs as blue and my outputs as red. I've, I've defined here what are the inputs of this model and the output. Um, and that allows me to identify these inputs and outputs uh, very easily in my models. Um, this model is very simple. It's a model about a uh, uh, um, a risk analysis or, or an uncertain analysis of uncertainty in a project uh, finance. And I have just a few input distributions that I have um, chosen, such as um, capital expenditure, revenue, fixed cost, growth rate of the revenue and so on. Um, in some cases, you might have models that have a lot more distributions. So it's very important that these distributions, A, are easily identifiable in your model and B, they uh, pick up the parameters for the distribution from cells rather than hard coding the values on the on the boxes here, right? So this is very important. Um, as well as fitting distributions to data, you can correlate variables. Um, if you, if I run this model without correlation, it means that the Monte Carlo sampling will be um, uh, performed, um, let's say, in a non-coordinated way. Uh, so I might pick up in one iteration a high value of uh, this revenue distribution and, uh, and a low value of annual fixed cost and a high value of revenue growth rate, right? But in some cases, I want to be able to influence this um, uh, sampling method. So one way of doing that would be using correlation between these variables. So I define, for example, a correlation between uh, revenue and growth rate, and then I can decide whether there is um, an indirect or, or negative correlation and positive correlation dependency on the model. That allows me to uh, make the, the, the model closer to my perceived um, uh, reality or, 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 or how I think the variables such as revenue and revenue growth will behave in real life. So I can kind of um, um, replicate that in my model. I can insert also lots of functions if I want to see, I mean, here I have an, some examples. Um, uh, I pick up, pick up from this simulation uh, some statistics because uh, when I run a simulation, uh, let's say I want to run uh, a thousand iterations, let's make it quick. Um, from this model, 
um, I don't want to go back and forth to the to the graphs, and I want to uh, be able to see uh, what is the the mean or the uh, percentiles that I have chosen as um, as important for me to make a decision. Right. So one option that I have is just to go back to back and forth to explore and browse results, or I can just bring these values directly into the um, uh, spreadsheet. And I have a lot of functions that I can use um, in order to do that. Um, the other feature, just to finish with uh, at risk, is that it has something that it continues to um, to be one of the key features of the software, which is the ability to build um, hypotheses and uh, an alternative scenarios very quickly. So if I change my um, simulations from one to two, I can consider here various different scenarios of my model. Uh, and uh, when I run the simulation, I at risk will very quickly explore both uh, scenarios, different assumptions that I have made in my model, um, and will create two um, output distributions that I can compare with, with one another to see which alternative or a scenario is the most favorable for my um, intentions. For example, here I have created two scenarios with a low amount of investment. Here I increase the amount by 30% and then I change the low revenue, mid revenue and high revenue um, uh, correspondingly. Right? Because if I increase the investment, I can expect that my revenues will go up. So all these assumptions um, can be uh, made. So when I click on all simulations, so, so at risk creates two simulations, simulation one, simulation two, when I create when I overlay them, then I can see both um, uh, alternatives, uh, which basically indicate that uh, the um, option one, or which I have named as cheaper option, is the is the is the most favorable because I only have like 13.9% of the iterations giving me a negative value whilst on option two or expensive option as 30%. So, and there is no, uh, looking at the other uh, side of the distribution at the right hand side, there is no real gain from in increasing the investment by 30% because, you know, I, I, I gain very little from that massive uh, amount of extra risk. So um, that's the kind of feature that um, it's very useful if you want to compare alternatives and to build prototypes very quickly for decision making. Um, at risk aid has more functions which have been packed in uh, in title menus, but they are all accessible from the from the ribbon. Um, uh, you have a data viewer, which I think it's a great tool, which allows you to uh, to see data displayed in a in an at risk uh, input distribution like uh, kind of um, uh, display. So we show you something like this for any kind of uh, data that you might decide to import into Excel. Um, you can swap out. I mean, this this feature um, was available in other in other. Versions, but you can uh, kind of unplug or, or remove the the at risk functions from your Excel uh, model. So that means that once you remove these functions, you at risk uh, places the, the mean value or or a certain percentile from the distribution and the result into these cells, and then you can. Sh